What a bit of fun. The jiggling, invisibly powers puppets. How do they work? You can't see it here, but there's a tiny little bit of nylon string, so fine it's almost invisible. And when street artists were doing this, it came out about 20, 30 years ago, because it's possible with sunlight to see this tiny string, they often put a baffling picture like this one with lots of curly lines in it to make it completely invisible. In fact, for this situation, we don't need them because what we've got is Santa Claus and his friend, perhaps there's two Santas, digging in front of a, flower play, a, 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 a fireplace. And it's charming to see the action, which is just done by the pulling and releasing and the slackening and the tightening of a tiny bit of snout on string, which could be done with a finger, and this bit could be done behind your back almost, so you can't see anyone moving. I'm here, I'm making it very obvious what's happening to it. But this is a charming little idea, which, as a matter of fact, I've forgotten I had this version of it, because I've, not that long ago, showed about six of these, which I picked up over the years, and this one got forgotten. So, Magical Performing, Silly Santas it's called, and it's charming. Very nice idea. Still on the Christmas scene, or Christmas time, I found this charming little device on a card in a shop. All you had to do was dress a bottle with them. So, I've got a bottle here of port which I've finished, and you put, first of all put on the Santa's arms, as if he's standing behind holding it, and then you put on the hats. I suppose there ought to be a face there, but you just make it like that to let it look like a proper Santa hat, and present that to your friends. Happy Christmas, or something. Very nice, very simple, very elegant, and very much um, seasonal too. Beautiful. And the last item is something quite extraordinary, which again I've had for many years, but whenever you get a good idea and you can find ways of making it more interesting, you either make them bigger or smaller, or um, louder or softer, or if it's noise toys, or in this case, it's you do one and then you do lots of them. And this one here, I've got lots of them. So you see the effect of having lots of something, rather than just one of something. But I'll show you the one as well. So, stand back, so there's going to be some excitement now. Here we go. Wow! Oh my goodness me! These are Christmas cards, which are chocolate, which are, um, not chocolate, Christmas, Christmas puddings. It's got a, quite a powerful elastic band, which I've had to re replace, of course. It says from so-and-so and to so-and-so. And when you stack them like this, look at the fun you have of making them pop up and down. And some of them, I've put rather too strong elastic band in it, so they really do pop up very hard. But we'll try three this time to stack. Wonderful. Can't stop popping them. Christmas comes once a year, and it's time for Christmas pudding. I'm going to have a puppy good Christmas this year.